Hey guys, so in this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a button count up by an increment of 1 or whatever you want to set it as, like so. So, let's get started. Alright, so for this tutorial, first thing you do is go to your palette, go to gadgets, go to CV2 gadgets, get to button V2, put next to you. Next. Make sure you're in CV2 gadgets still, go to the second page, grab the text V2 and put that next to you. You also need to go to the circuits V2 tab on the top right. You need this add chip that should pop up. You need to search your chips, find the two string chip, put that next to you. Then you need the variable integer chip, like so. Alright, now we gotta start wiring. First thing we're gonna wire is the pressed output into the input of the variable chip, the output of the variable chip into the input of the text. We need the other output of the variable chip into the input of the add, like so. The output of the add into the input of the variable chip, like so. When you go back to this output, wire that to the input of the two string or the output of the two string to the input of the text on the text v2 chip. Finally, we gotta configure this number right here to whatever number you would like to be added to the actual number that's being stored in the variable chip. So for this tutorial, I'm gonna be setting this to a one. Of course, you can set this to whatever number you like. I'm, I'm setting it to one. So what that should do is that should add one to the number whenever we press that button. So this is the setup we have. Copy that down, I'll give you a second. All right, so if you press the button, this should first change to a one. One, keep on pressing it and it counts up by, remember the number we set here, if we set that to a five, this will count up by fives instead. So, I hope that helped you with any issues you've had using any of these chips.